this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. All right, now we're going to be talking about the eraser tool and why you should not be using it. Essentially, it is dead. I declare the eraser tool is dead. Now, it has been dead for a very long time because what I'm going to show you, you've been able to do for quite a long time in Photoshop. But in case you're still using the eraser tool, I'm going to show you why you shouldn't be doing that. So let's have a look here at an image. This is an image that we used at a previous tutorial. And uh, this image here has two layers. So on layer one here, we have um, the uh, image of a girl just by herself. And layer two, we just have the field of flowers. Now, uh, normally, for example, let's say you wanted to erase her ponytail here with the eraser tool. So you select it. You erase the ponytails here. And there you are, right? If you erase something. Now, what if you go back and you wanted to actually put that ponytail back? Well, you're stuck, right? You've erased it. There's no way to go back from this, right? So everything that you do with the eraser tool is very much of a definitive thing. Even if you made a mistake, all you can do is just uh, do an immediately on undo. But you can't erase at several different passes. You'd have to go back into the history palette to change all these eraser um, states if you've pressed erase many, many times and so forth. It just gets very complicated. A tool that is much better to erase things is actually a layer mask. Layer mask is here, this icon down here at the bottom. If we click on it, you can see that here we've made our mask, which is linked to the image. And now, if we use our brush tool, make sure that we're in black and white. Just uh, press D for default if we have white and black here. And you can press X to switch between the two colors. Is Black will remove things, right? So we're erasing. We're essentially, if uh, you didn't know any better, you'd think that this was the eraser tool, right? But the thing is, let's say we've erased too much. Or we've just gone crazy and just pressed a million times here the URI. You know, we're erasing things. Now what do we do? Well, we don't have to go back into the history palettes or anything. Even if we save this image, go back the next day and decide we want to put things back, press X to go on white, and white brings things back, right? So you're just painting it back. You're just changing the layer mask, and you're not actually deleting anything. You're just masking things away. This is a much more efficient way of effectively completing the same thing, doing the same thing that the eraser tool would do. But you can do it much better and more calmly too if you use a layer mask. So another thing that I want to show you here is actually to do with type. Now let's say we wanted to uh, put some text here. So we'll put in, uh, for example, girl, right? Now if we wanted to erase a part of this text, for example, we try it and we get a notification that we need to first rasterize this text, right? So we need to transform it into just raw pixels. So we'll click OK. And now we can go ahead and erase this, for example. But now if we wanted to change this text, again, we couldn't. We've rasterized the text. So the best thing to do is let's just go back here in our history. And what we can do is just, again, add a layer mask. With the layer mask, we can go ahead with our brush tool and erase things. And now the text is still editable. So we can go in girl with dog, for example. So there we are. We have our text. And we can go back in and always, of course, just adjust what we're erasing here. Right? So we've erased things, but uh, with the option of always going back and, uh, you know, doing it again if we need to. Or adjusting the way that we're doing any um, things that are to do with, uh, with erasing. So... Don't use the eraser tool, and uh, always use a layer mask. That is my tip to you. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.